They called it a comet, 3i Atlas, but I didn't hear about it from NASA. I heard it in a Baton Rouge bar, where the neon buzzed like a dying wasp, and the floor smelled of whiskey gone sour. A man sat beside me, his coat too heavy for the heat. He said he watched my channel, said he liked how I told the stories most folks are afraid to say out loud, the ones about the shadows that hang over Louisiana. Then he leaned in and said he had one of his own, a story I couldn't refuse. And I followed, because that's what you do when you're chasing watch, time, hours, and hungry eyes. He lived out by the LSU lakes, in one of those old money houses with tall white columns and iron gates that never rust. The air inside was damp and heavy, the portraits on the wall watching like jurors. He led me up to the roof where the lake spread black as tar and his telescope crouched like a cannon pointed at the stars. Through the glass, I saw it. Three eye atlas glowing like a frozen cathedral drifting through the void. Only it didn't drift. It shifted, tilted toward me as though it felt my eye on it. Inside that glow, shadows turned slow and deliberate, like gears grinding, like bones trying to breathe again. The man laughed, hollow and cracked, and whispered that they always send one first, a messenger. His hand lingered on the telescope, as if it had a pulse. I turned away before he could make me look again. The cicadas stayed silent as I walked back to the street, the night heavy as a coffin lid. Maybe it's a comet. Maybe it's the first scout of something older, something hungry. Keep watching the sky and follow me if you want the warning before the rest arrive.